Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments we present for your view our show. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, we present for your view our show. <laughs> a murder. A beautiful murder. As good a murder as you could wish to see. The story is antique. But our corpses are fresh each night. <laughs> the management has spared no cost in its intent to make all real. Nothing is invented, nothing is new, or made to order just for you. Ladies and gentlemen, is everyone in their seats? The presentation will begin. The commencement of the beginning is about to start. <laughs> That streak across the grass. That's where dead bodies are found. Once somebody tripped over one, thought it was a log. Three days and three nights, and he was in his wooden coffin. Shh. Something is moving. Something is moving under me. Hello. You hear that? The whole world 
It's hollow. Whew. It's quiet. That's strange. Hold your breath. Oh, Andres. What? Say something. Look how the sky burns. There's a fire ravaging around and a roar that tumbles down to earth. It's coming closer. Let's go. Don't look round. of him. Whew, he is quite a guy, like a tree. No, not a tree, but a lion. Ooh, that's quite a friendly look you gave him, sister. <gasps> your eyes are shining. So what? Why don't you take your eyes and have them polished? Maybe you can sell them as two buttons. What? Why, virgin matter, I am a respectable woman. But you, your eyes can see through seven pairs of leather trousers. of a whore when I is umdanam, but your mother still loves your busted face. Do you, 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 do... Harry, is that you? Ah. Food is ready. I can't stay. Have to go to the captain. What is the matter with you, Harry? Maria, there was something out there again. Isn't it written? And behold, the smoke of the land rose to the heavens like the smoke of a furnace. Harry! It followed me till I reached home. What's going to happen? Harry! I've got to go. Oh, that man is bewitched. He didn't even look at his own child. Those thoughts of his will drive him mad. Izo, why are you so quiet? Hmm? Are you scared? Hey, it's getting so dark as if you're going blind. Usually, the street lamp shines in. I can't stand it. It scares me. Oh.
Slowly, Wojtek, slowly, one thing at a time. You're going to finish ten minutes early today. What are we supposed to do with the extra time? Activity, Wojtek. Too much activity. Yes, sir. Wojtek, you always look so agitated. A good man doesn't look like that. A good man whose conscience is clear. Well, say something, Wojtek. What's the weather like? Not good, sir. Not good. Yes. Yes, I can sense it. There's something skittering out there. A wind darting like a mouse. I believe it's coming from the south-north. Yes, sir. <laughs> the south-north! <laughs> you're so stupid, Wojtek. Terribly stupid. But you're a good man. A good man. But, Wojtek, you have no morality. You have a child without the blessing of the church, as our most reverend chaplain says. Without the blessing of the church. The choice of words is not my own. Sir, the good Lord doesn't check each poor worm to see if our men were said over it before it was created. Hmm? The Lord said, suffer little children to come unto me. What's that you're saying? Well, what ridiculous answer is that? You're getting me all mixed up with your answer. And when I say you, I mean you. You ask people, if you don't have money, just try to raise your own kind on morality in this world. We are flesh and blood, same as other people. The likes of us are damned in this world and in the next. If we ever get to heaven, we'd have to help with the thunder. Flesh and blood? <laughs> when I'm lying at the window after it's rained, and I watch the white stockings as they pass by. Damn it, Wojtek. Then love comes all over me. I've got flesh and blood, too. But, Wojtek, virtue, virtue. I always say to myself, you are a virtuous man, a good man, a good man. Yes, sir, virtue. I haven't worked it out yet. You see, sir, us people, we don't have virtue. Hmm? But if I was a gentleman and I had a hat and a watch and a smart coat and could talk big English, then I'd be virtuous to you. I could enjoy virtue, sir, but I'm just a poor man. That's fine, Wojtek, fine. You're a good man, a good man. But you think too much and that's unhealthy. And you always look so agitated. Oh, this discussion has quite unnerved me. <laughs> you may go now. And don't run so wildly. Slowly. Nice and slow. Down the street. <laughs> What's going on, Wojtek? A man of his word? What do you mean, Doctor? I saw it, Wojtek. You pissed on the street. <laughs> you pissed against the wall like a dog, and you get 350 a day. We have a contract. That's bad, Wojtek. Very bad. But, Doctor, the call of nature. The call of nature. The call of nature! Nature! Haven't I proved that the musculus constrictor vesicae is controlled by the will? Wojtek, man is free. Only in man is individuality raised to freedom. Couldn't control himself. <laughs> Did you eat your peas today, Wojtek? This will revolutionize science. I'll turn it on its head. Urea. 10%? Ammonium chloride. Hyperoxidic! Wojtek, 
Go in there and piss again. I can't, Doctor. But you can piss on the wall. I have it in writing. Here's the contract. I saw it all with my very own eyes. You shouldn't have pissed on the wall. But you see, Doctor, sometimes you've got a kind of character, a kind of structure, but with a nature that's something different. You see, with nature, that's like, how should I put it? For example... Oh, take your philosophizing again. Doctor, have you ever seen anything of double nature? When the sun is standing high at noon and a terrible voice shakes the world. Wojtek, you've got an aberratio. The mushrooms, that's double nature. Have you ever seen all the growing patterns? Oh, if only we could read that. Wojtek, you've got a marvelous aberratio mentalis partialis second species. Wojtek, I'm giving you a bonus. You're doing everything as usual, shaving the captain. Yes, sir. Eating your peas. Same as ever, Doctor. My wife gets the money for the household. Still working? Yes, sir. Subject, Wojtek. You're an interesting case. I'm giving you a bonus. Now, show me your pulse. Yes. Maria. Chest like a bull and a head like a lion. Come on, go dance for me. Well, <laughs> Maria, I'm more strong than ever, ever before. I am more fit than ever, ever before. We are born on Sunday, see Maria, when I have my tops and my Johnston and Marv. Oh, damn, Maria. My boss always says, hey, man, you're quite a guy. Ooh. Ha! What a man. Ooh. What a woman. <laughs> Come on, let's breed a race of champions. Oh, leave me alone. You wild cat. Don't touch me. There is a devil in your eyes. And so? Who cares?
Izo. Izo, go to sleep, son. Shut your eyes. Ikoko will come and get you. <laughs> go to sleep. We only have a little corner in the world and a small piece of mirror. But my mouth is just as red as the great ladies with their mirrors from head to toe and their handsome men who kiss their hands. <clears throat> is a go to sleep, son. Shut your eyes. Jong ho. He's running along the wall. He will look into your eyes and you'll go blind. Maria, hmm? what's that you've got there? Nothing. But well, something is glittering under your fingers. Uh, an earring, I uh, found it. I have never found anything like that. Two at once? What do you think I am? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's all right, Maria. Look how the little boy sleeps. Cover him properly. Oh, those shiny drops on his forehead. Everything is just whack. Whack! We sweat even in our sleep. Ask people. Here's some money, Maria my pay, and some from the doctor. Bless you, Harry. I've got to go. See you tonight, Maria. Oh, what a bitch I am. I could stab myself. Ooh, what a world. Everything goes to the devil anyway. Man and woman and child. Oh.
to see it. I should be able to hold on to it uh, with my fists. Oh, God, the hell. Yeah. Don't let him dance, Iona. Are you crazy? A sin that fat and that wide. The stink is enough to smoke the angels out of heaven. Hey. Your mouth is so red, Maria. No blister on it. Goodbye, Maria. You are as beautiful as sin. Can mortal sin be so beautiful? Delirious. Damn it! Did he stand here like this? Huh? Like this? Lots of people can stand on one spot, one after another. I saw him. You can see many things if you've got a pair of eyes and you're not blind and the sun is in the sky. With my own eyes. So what? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the astronomical Diceronitas. He is the favorite in all the capitals and all the boardrooms. He is a trustee of all charitable institutions. Come on, show your talent. Show your beautiful intelligence. Up. Everything can be taught. Observe his powers. He can add, but he can't count on his fingers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, education! Education! Spell. Tomorrow he learns punctuation. <laughs> he will put human society to shame yet. He is a professor at all our universities. How many children has that man? That was simple arithmetic. No! Use your double reason. What is the cause of that man's toothache? <laughs> what is the cause of that 
that lady's heartbreak. animals anywhere here, but all beasts nonetheless. Put society to shame. Observe the progress of civilization. Everything progresses. A beast, a Tyseronitas. <laughs> skills. <clears throat> he can sing in three languages. He can ride a bicycle. He can fire a gun. <clears throat> It's not natural. It's all education. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am finishing it. Good <laughs> So fast, most honorable old grave digger. Why, so rooted, most honorable Mr. Cocksure. Don't run like that, Doctor. A good man doesn't go so fast, sir. You'll run yourself to death that way. Neck elongated, hmm? features emaciated, hmm? legs withered, <laughs> hair stiff and rigid. Hmm. Yes, you might just be afflicted with an apoplexia cerebralis. Oh. For God's sake, don't frighten me, Doctor. Let me assure you, you are my most interesting case. And if God so decides, and your tongue is partially paralyzed, what? then we'll make history with our experiments. People have been known to die of fright, of sheer unadulterated terror. Doctor Coffin Nail, Shroud, <laughs> Body Bag. <laughs> I live as long as I exist. No harm meant. <laughs> Hey, hey, Wojtek, stay here. <laughs> stay here, Wojtek. Wojtek, you haven't come across a pick lying about? Hmm? Or a spade of a builder, a gardener, a miner, perhaps, hey, Wojtek? Yes, sir. What is that you're trying to say, sir? Oh, look at the face he's making. But you've got a good wife, not like the others. She's all I have in the world. Uh, Captain, if you're joking... Joking? 
Me? Who do you think you are? Captain, the earth is hot as hell. As for me, I'm cold. Ice cold. It can't be. Watch out, fellow. How would you like to be hanged, hmm? How would you like to have a rope around your neck? You'd stab me with that look of yours. But I only mean well, because you're a good man, Wojciech. A good man. Facial muscles tense, rigid, occasionally twitching. Mm. Posture tense. The weather is lovely. Look at the grey sky. It almost makes you want to pound a nail into it and hang yourself from it. All because there is no gap between yes and uh, yes again and no. Is no to blame for yes or yes for no? I'll have to think about that. Phenomenal. <laughs> Wojciech, a bonus. Oh, these people make my head spin. I don't like that. A good man loves life. A good man has no courage. A, a scoundrel has courage. I just drink good wine to strengthen my love for life. <laughs> Grotesque. out there. All the chicks are out there already. Everybody is sweating. It's really moving. A dance, Andres. They are dancing. Yeah, at number 17. <laughs> dancing, dancing. Andres, I can't keep still. Stupid. I've got to get out of here. Everything keeps turning in front of my eyes. Dancing, dancing. Their hands will be so hot. Damn it, Andres! I've got to go! I've got to get out of here! It's so hot in here! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Daylight, do it on our hands like flies. Oh, woman, that woman is hot. On and on and on and damn it! Look at how he's holding her, hands all over her body. She's his now, just like I used to have her.
does man exist? Why does man exist? Why does man exist? But verily I say unto you, on what could the farmer, the shoemaker, the plumber, the doctor exist if God hadn't created a man? How could the tailor live if God hadn't made man with a feeling of shame? How could the soldier exist if God hadn't made man with the need to kill himself? Therefore, do not doubt. Yes, yes, it's lovely and fun out there. Yet all that is earthly is damned. In the end, even money rots. In conclusion, my dear friends, let us peace crosswise so that a witch will die. On and on and on and on. Huh? What? What do I hear? Louder. Louder. Stab. Stab the bitch to death? Sh should I? Must I? Do I hear it over there? Is the wind saying it too? It goes on and on and on and on and on. Andres, mm. I can't sleep. When I close my eyes, everything keeps turning. And I hear the music on and on and on and on. And there is a voice coming from the ground. Can't you hear? Anything? Let them dance. God bless us. Amen. And it flashes in front of my eyes like a knife. Drink some brandy vein. That will make you sleep. Thank you.
about your father? I am a man. A man, you hear? Who wants to start something? Huh? <laughs> if you are not as drunk as the Lord, go away from me. Beat your nose up to your asshole. <laughs> Come on, man. Have a drink. A man must drink. Oh, I wish the whole world was brandy. <laughs> you bastard! You want me to take your tongue out of your throat and wrap it around your body? Shall I? If you as much breath as an old woman's fart, shall I? For sale. Uh, one thing after another. Well, do you want to pay it or don't you? How much is it? The blade is straight enough. Ah, you want to cut your throat with it. Well, what do you say? I'd give it to you as cheap as anybody else. You'll get your death for a fair price, but not for nothing. What do you say? Your death will be a bargain. That can cut more than just bread. 4.95. There. There, as though it were nothing, but it's money. The dog.
And no lies are found in his mouth. Oh, Bao. Bao, don't look at me. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery and set her in the middle. And Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee, go and sin no more. The boy is like a knife in my heart. Harry hasn't come, not yesterday and not today. And stood at his feet, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs on her head and kissed his feet, and anointed them with ointment. It's all dead. Savior, Savior, I wish I could anoint your feet. Andres, I won't need this jacket.
Harry Johann Wojciech. Born June 12, 1962. Today I'm 36 years, seven months, and 12 days old. When the carpenter is finished with those planks, no one knows who will be resting his head on them. Once upon a time, there was a poor little child with no father, no mother. Everything was dead and no one was left in the world. Everything was dead and it went and searched all day and all night. And because no one was left on the earth, it wanted to go up to the heavens, but the moon gave it such a kind look that it went up to the moon. But when it finally got there, the moon was just an old dry bone. So it went to the sun. And when it got to the sun, the sun was full of broken, useless things. So it went on to the stars. And when it got to the stars, the stars were just dead flies pinned to the sky. And when it wanted to go back to the earth, the earth was an upturned port, and it was all alone. The poor little child sat down and cried. And there it sits to this day all alone. go. It's time. Where to? How should I know? It's so dark. Stay here. Come on. Sit down. But I must get back. You needn't walk any further, Maria. What is 
the matter with you? Maria, do you know how long it's been? It was two years last Easter. Do you know how long it's going to be? I've got to go and make supper. Do you feel the cold, Maria? But you're still warm. How hot your lips are. Hot. The hot breath of a whore. But I'll give all of heaven to kiss them once more. Once it's cold, you won't feel the wind anymore. What are you talking about? Nothing. <sighs> Look how red the moon is. Like a bloody blade. <laughs> And stink. He'll get you all in the end. The rest of you. Come on, Katie. I'm hot. Hot? That's the way it is. The devil takes one woman and lets the other get away. Katie, you are hot. Katie, you'll be cold someday to you. Be sensible. Can't you sing something? But what's that on his hand? Who? Me? Red. It's blood. Blood? Blood? Oh, yes, blood. Oh, I, I must have cut myself here on my right hand. But how did it get on his elbow? I wiped it off. He wiped it off. For God's sake, what do you want? What? With his right hand on his right elbow? Huh? That's clever. What do you want? You think I killed someone? Am I a murderer? What are you staring at? Look at yourselves! Come on, man, come on. Get out of my way. Out, out of my way, man. Ah. The knife. Where is the knife? I left it somewhere here. Oh, it will give me away. What kind of a place is this? Something is moving. Maria? Maria, everything is quiet. You're so pale, Maria. Why is that red necklace around your throat? From whom did you earn that for your sins? Something's lying over there. The knife, the knife. Dad. 
down it goes. It sinks like a stone in the dark water. The moon is like a bloody piece of iron. Must the whole world give me away? No. It's too far in front. It will rust. Who will recognize it? I wish I had smashed it. Am I still bloody? I must wash myself. Oh, yes, a stain. And there's another. And another. And another. What a murder! A good murder! A beautiful murder! As good a murder as one could wish to see! We haven't had one like this for a long time! Hey! Out! 